G'day guys, we've introduced GDP, but we're going to want to get into how to calculate it and analyzing how it should change over time. To do that, we need to introduce the circular flow of income, which we will first look at in the simple two sector model. And we'll show how the components of GDP can be determined under this model. At its simplest, the circular flow of income can be represented in this simple two sector model, which says that you've got firms and households, your two sectors in the economy, and money flows in a circular manner from firms to households via the factor markets and from households to firms via the goods markets. Now recall that the factors of production are land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship and the rewards for those are rent, wages, interest, and profit. So when all of those rewards are paid out, that is money flowing from firms into households. Households then take the income that they receive and end up spending it on goods so that the money flows back into firms. And it just keeps going around and around and around. You should notice that the consumption basically is our GDP. GDP is the market value of all the final goods and services that are bought in the country.